Chapter 10 Now when Ezra had praised, and when he had confessed, weeping, and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled Ventohim out of Israel, a very great congregation of men, and women, and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shechania the son of Oil, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We how trespassed against our God, and how taken strange wayus of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now therefore let verses make a covenant with our God, to put away all the wayus and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God, and lee it be done according to the law. Rise, for this matter belongeth unto thee, we also will be with thee, be of good courage, and do it. Then rose Ezra, and made the chief priests, the Lewits, and all Israel to swear, that they should do according to this word, and they swear. Then Ezra rose VP from before the house of God, and went into the chamber of Iahanan, the son of Eliashib, and when he came thither, he did eat no bread nor drink water, for he mourned because of the transgression of them that had been carried away. And they made proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem, and to all the children of the captivity, that they should gather themselves together and to Jerusalem, and that Yusuia would not come within three days, according to the counsel of the princes and the elders. All his substance should be forfeited, and himself separated from the congregation of those that had been carried away. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together into Jerusalem. Within three days, it was the ninth monath, on the twentieth day of the monath, and all the people sate in the street of the house of God, trembling because of this matter, and for the great rain. And Ezra the priest stood VP, and said unto them, Ye how transgressed, and how taken strange wayus, to increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate your cellus from the people of the land, and from the strange wayus. Then all the congregation answered, and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without. Neither is this a work of one day or two, for we are many that how transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the congregation stand, and let all them which how taken strange wayus in our cities, come at appointed times, and with them the elders of Uri city, and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter be turned from verses. When Leanathan the son of Asal, and Haziah the son of Tikua were employed about this matter, and Meshulam, and Shabbatai the Lewit helped them. And the children of the captivity did so, and Ezra the priest, with certain chief of the fathers, after the house of their fathers, and all of them by their names, were separated, and sat down in the first day of the tenth monith to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wayus by the first day of the first monith. And among the sons of the priests, there were found that had taken strange wayus, namely of the sons of Ishua the son of Ielzadak, and his brethren Masiah, and Eliezer, and Iarab, and Gedaliah. And they got their hands, that they would put away their wayus, and being guilty, they offered a ram of the flock for their trespass. And of the sons of Immer, Hanani and Zabadiah, and of the sons of Harim, Masiah, and Eliah, and Shemaiah, and Alhal, and Aziah, and of the sons of Pasher, Eliinai, Masiah, Ishmael, Nathaniel, Ilzabad, and Elasa, also of the Lewits, Ilzabad, and Shimei, and Kaliah, the same as Kelada, Pathaya, Judah, and Eliezer, of the singers also, Eliashib, and of the porters, Shalem, and Telem, and Uri, moreover of Israel, of the sons of Parish, Ramia, and Yija, and Malchia, and Miamin, and Elazar, and Malchia, and Beniah, and of the sons of Elam, Mataniah, Sechariah, and Ilhil, and Ebdi, and Irmoth, and Eliah, and of the sons of Zatu, Eliinai, Eliashib, Mataniah, and Irmoth, and Zabad, and Aziza, of the sons also of Bibe, Iohanan, Hananiah, Zabai, and Athli, and of the sons of Bani, Meshalem, Malak, and Adiah, Ashab, and Sheel, and Ramath, and of the sons of Pahath, Moab, Adna, 
and Shelol, Beniah, Musiah, Medniah, Bezalel, and Binui, and Manasseh, and of the sons of Harim, Eliezer, Ishamelcha, Shemeah, Shimeon, Beniah, and Malak, and Shemaria, of the sons of Hashem, Matani, Matatha, Sabad, Eliphalet, Irmai, Manasseh, and Shimei, of the sons of Bani, Mada, Amram, and Ol, Beniah, Bediah, Shela, Wania, Merimoth, Eliashib, Madania, Matani, and Iaso, and Bani, and Benui, Shimei, and Shelemiah, and Nathan, and Adiah, Meknadebe, Shishai, Shrai, Azriel, and Shelemiah, Shemaria, Shalem, Amaria, and Ielseph, of the sons of Nebo, Ihail, Mattathiah, Sabad, Sabina, Iada, and Iel, Beniah, all these had taken strange Wayus, and some of them had Wayus, by whom they had children. Nehemiah Chapter 1 The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hekaliah, and it came to pass in the monith to slew in the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan the palace. That Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he ascertained men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the youths that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said, Ventomi, the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province. Are in great affliction and reproach, the wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. And it came to pass a when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the God of Hoan, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of Hoan, the great and terrible God, that keepeth quenant and mercy for them that lew him, and of zero his commandments. Let thine ear now be attent you, and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we house end against thee both I, and my father's house house end. We how dealt very corruptly against thee, and how not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember. I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the foremost part of the Hoan, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen, to set my name there. Now these are thy servants, and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power, and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants, who desire to fear thy name, and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. For I was the king's cupbearer. Chapter 2 And it came to pass in the monith Nizin, in the twentieth year of Artaxerxes the king. That wine was before him, and I took thee pee the wine, and go it to the king. Now I had not been a before time sat in his presence. Wherefore the king said vento me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very sore afraid. And said vento the king, Let the king loo for you, or why should not my countenance be sad, when the city... The place of my father's sepulchres layeth waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire. Then the king said vento me, for what dost thou make request? So I prayed to the god of Hoin. And I said vento the king, if it please the king, and if thy servant how found for in thy sight, that thou wouldest send me vento yuda vento the city of my father's sepulchres, that I may build it. And the king said vento me, the queen also sitting by him, For how long shall thy yearning be? And when wilt thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. Moreover I said vento the king, If it please the king, let letters be drew in me to the governors beyond the rire, That they may canoe me or, till I come into Yuda. And a letter vento us off the keeper of the king's forest that he may drew me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace which appertained to the house, 
and for the wall of the city, and for the house that I shall enter into, and the king granted me, according to the good hand of my God upon me. Then I came to the governors beyond the rire, and got them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army, and horsemen with me, when Sanballat the Horonite, and Tobiah the Seruent, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grew them exceedingly, that there was come a man, to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. So I came to Jerusalem, and was there three days. And I rose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem, neither was there any beast with me, saw the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night, by the gate of the valley you and before the dragon well, and to the down port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain, and to the king's pool. But there was no place for the beast that was vendor me to passe. Then went I VP in the night by the brook, and viewed the wall, and turned back, and entered by the gate of the valley, and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went, or what I did, neither had I as yet told it to the youths, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said Ivan to them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem leeth waste, and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. Come, and let verses build VP the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken vinto me. And they said, Let verses rise VP and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Sambalat the Horonite, and Tobiah the Serun the Ammonite, and Jeshem the Arabian heard it, they laughed verses to scorn, and despised verses, and said, What is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of Hoan, he will prosper verses, therefore we his servants will arise and build, but you how no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem.' 